What now? What happened? What did he say? He said that they evaluating your um your situation so they can try to get you a bed. He said that they would he would he was gonna work on it for you tomorrow. Oh. He he's he's gonna he said he's gonna try to help you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Collins. Sam Fisher, huh? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, I told you he was fair to us in September. You said that before. You said that um in September. earlier. But see, I don't know him well. He seems nice, Mr. Collins, but I'm telling you, Tuesday night was the first time he told me that someone else on the staff wrote me up because I've had a medical, because I've had a heart attack or something. That's all he said. That's what he said then, medical. Yeah, medical. And if you can't harm anybody, you know, Mr. Collins, with a heart attack. You can't harm, all you can do is harm yourself and eventually die with that, anyone. <laughs> you know, it's not like you can pass anything on to anyone, uh -huh. see? And so that's why Sam just sat there Tuesday night and didn't know what to tell me. He didn't know what to tell you. I mean, all he now, said you was... Now, you said, you said you're going if we over go by DTF. He's on Bacon Street in those apartments. You know what I'm talking about? Bacon Street. I don't it's near the DTI, time. but I don't know how... See, it was new to me. We walked there about four years ago. Maybe. Bank and I walked there. I'm sort of scared, I'm telling you, but I went over there. I can go down here and... Okay. Thank you for trying to call, Sam, Mr. Collins. Thank you and for driving over to those women. See, I, I, maybe I should have stayed in Charlotte another week, sir. There is a shelter there, but I guess we all kept getting up at 6 in the morning, and I thought, I'll just head home. I'm running out of money. See, that was my thinking, Mr. Collins. I'm running out of money. I'm getting tired, and I can get along with those people in the shelter in, in Charlotte, you know? Uh -huh. But I thought, why not head towards Durham? Wait, poor cat. Why not head towards Durham? and try to find a boarding home. You know? Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking. Now, I don't know how to get to where Frank's is, but I'm well, telling you, I'm, going, I'm, going to, I'm taking you to Bacon Street. We I, I, I had to cross that bridge right there. I could have went down Angel Avenue and got there faster. But, let me see here. Oh, it's getting kind of late, too. What is it, 10, 12? Getting kind of late. Come okay. on, now. Frank should be, he should be awake, though. Now, he's in an apartment over there, so I'm telling you, I went four years ago, so I'm not sure exactly. We walked up this road. We walked across. And we walked from this main street over here. And his apartment's over here somewhere on the ground floor, but I can't remember the number. Oh, a convenience store was on the corner. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to this, I'm turning left and there's going to be a convenience store on the right down there. And we walked into the apartment complex from the convenience store. You're going to knock on Frank door and Frank you? going to tell you to get your ass no, to stay. No, no, Frank's very nice, sir. I don't think, <laughs> but I don't, but sir, I'm not sure I'm kind of turned around as to where, what apartment the number The convenience is. store is down there. Okay, well then his apartments are in the back on Bacon, I guess he told me Bacon, see? See, so I was kind of scared. I was kind of terrified walking four years ago with him to this area. So you ain't terrified. seen Frank in four years? No, I saw him in September here in town. Sir, so I saw him in September before I went to Charlotte. I'm not kidding you. But see, I'm not familiar with it. Oh, now this is beginning to look familiar, okay? Oh. The apartments are either back on this street or one over. Those are all familiar. I'd never been here, sir, till I walked with Frank here four years ago. Because, see, he used to live on Trinity. I visited him once there, 1994. See, he and I are old. I'm 58. Frank's about 58. We're not, you know. He lived on Trinity. And my dad, I introduced him to my dad. We had a nice conversation. That was about 1994. See, Mr. Collins? That was when I came to Durham. Oh. Oh, you're from another town. See, now the apartments there might be one over, see? They down here is like kind of like They're a, a rough looking street. They kind of... It and feels they like they're over there. It feels like they're over there, sir. See, about a block. I feel like a they damn look kind of mess rough. All feels like, is. see. You are where? So you're not from here. Where are you from, Mr. Collins? Chapel Hill. Oh, you're from Chapel Hill. You said. Oh, you came during 1994. Okay. Chapel Hill. Maybe 93, yeah. maybe. 93. This oh. got to be it right here. It seemed like a group of apartments. Yes, sir. Over this way. But like I'm telling you, we walked and it was at night. We got here at night. Same about nine. Do 10 you think this is the one? They were on a ground floor apartments. Let's ask. They all know. See, let, me, let me ask them. Hi, excuse folks. Do you happen to know, Permi, where Frank Raglan lives? He's an older guy. 
And he lives in these apartments down here a little bit. Mr. Raglan. Got him about blow. Oh my God. See, this is why I'm scared about this area, sir. See, we, we used to live near Northern High School. You hey, can listen. understand where we live. I'm going to be I'll at the end of this Frank, street. Wait, wait. Frank was lived over near here somewhere, sir, about... You're going to be what, sir? At the end of this street right here. What does that mean? I'm finna turn around. You are? What do you mean it's got to be about blood? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, that guy, that guy, that was that, what that guy said, wasn't it? What does that mean? It's got to be about blood. What does that mean? What he is, just didn't, it must be a street turn. It's around here somewhere, sir, where Frank lives. I thought, wait, let's ask this guy. They might know. Let me ask. Wait a Hello, sir. Sir, excuse me, can you please tell me where Frank lives? Frank Ragland. Mr. Frank Ragland. He lives on the ground floor apartment, and, uh... We'll ask him. Ask this guy up here. Would he know? You want to ask him? You can ask him. I don't... Ex excuse, sir, can you please help us with the directions for where Frank lives? You want to no. ask him? Mr. Frank Ragland. Never heard of him. We walked down, sir, I'm not kidding you, down this Bacon Road or whatever. I'm not from here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, sir... It's four years ago, uh -huh. and I don't know if it was this street, please help me, to, or one over, and the convenience store is nearby. Mr. Collins, he knows something. He'll tell us no, something. No, he don't know nothing. I'm sorry? It's, he I don't said know he never heard of it. But Frank has been living here, sir, for four years, and I don't know if it's one street over, sir. If you'll, Mr. Collins, I'm telling you the God's truth in the name of Jesus. I ain't saying he's, you're okay, not. I'm, he's either what on What I'm telling you is that over. guy told you. He doesn't know. I'm trying to explain to him where we were. That guy don't no. want to hear that. He was trying to leave. Yes, he I'm is. Telling you. The old guy will listen. Sometimes young people don't know anything, but old people will give you a little bit of time sometimes. Uh, and Mr. Collins, the convenience store is, 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 is familiar. We walked, I'm telling you, we walked either from that convenience store down this way, okay, down this way, it was earlier than here, and either on this street, this is all new to me, like somewhere like there, or one over, sir, and that's it. I'm kidding you. He's on the ground floor. It's may, he might be over in those apartments, sir, that are he just might one be, behind but us. Let me let me Mr. Add, Collins, let me oh, say Jesus. something to you. Let me say something to you. Okay. You remember when I told you that I would give you a ride over here? Yes, but I'm I'm try, told you that I but know I'm about what his I'm, apartment is. Yes. I'm telling you, you welcome there. Get out right now and go back over there because I'm finna go. Okay, but I'm scared, Miss Collins, if we can't find the apartment, I'm wandering you, around. All right, I'm, I'm not I'm not finna go look for Frank because nobody knows Frank. Well, we didn't give the old man enough time to I did, I did, If you didn't know where Frank lived when we got to that... Sir, ground floor, sir. I'm, I'm not kidding and you, I'm Mr. Telling Collins. You, I'm you telling you, I, name. I will take you back and let you out. But and I, you can go ask whoever you want to, whatever you want to, well, maybe it's not about good Frank. To be wandering around. Is there another group of apartments here or not? Is that all there is? That one street there? You know where is I'm that finna bacon? go? You know where I'm finna go? Is that bacon, Mr. Do Collins? you know where I'm finna go? Where, the hospital? No, I'm finna, I'm finna go oh, Jesus. back to my station and let you out. Oh, no. Wait, Mr. Collins, is there no That is not no apartment. That's well, the then it must have been on that. Was that Bacon Street that we were on when we no, had No, this is people? Bacon right here. Well, then that was the street. It was it, sir, where we talked to three people. That's where he lives. Okay. But they don't know him, and he's on the ground level, really. Do you want me to take you back and let you out? Let me ask a question first. I if you do, let me ask, if you do, is there a bus I can catch on this street? On this street? If you let me out and I can't find Frank... Is there a bus that runs on this street? Because I can catch it. It's is probably there? a bus that's Durham Tech right there. Okay, so there pretty... is. Okay. Well, then maybe we should turn around and I should go and try to find Frank's apartment. I'm but, a... sir, that's all I can do, Mr. Collins. I'm trying to reason with you. are very intelligent man. Is do that or go to the hospital. That's all I can do, sir. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to take you somewhere. And let you out because I'm telling you, I'm not going back there looking for Frank. I can. I can try to look for him. So I'm telling you, I'll take you back there and drop you off. I'm uh -huh. not finna let you holler from out the window. Okay. Do you want me to take you back there and let you out? Yes, you can. But may I ask you one question I'm first? I'm not going to. I'm, 
wait, may I ask you your opinion? Wait, let me ask you, Mr. Collins, because you are reasoning and you were very... Believe that. I can believe it, but I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't finna do none of that what you just said. I'm finna let your ass out this car at the, at the intersection of 100 South Austin Avenue. I can't go through all of this right here. I know, here. but you could see, sir, if you'd let me out, I could have looked around a little bit for Frank's. You, you know said you saying? was not going to get out. No, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I'm not going back over there. I'm, oh, Mr. I'm, I'm tired. I can't. I am too, I know, sir, but I was trying. You know, I thought it'd make more sense to go with Frank and be with him and sleep on the couch and just sleep on a cement thing. You tried to try to help me earlier, sir. They've got all these rules and sit on a cement block by Duke University. I thought it made more sense to go be with my friend Frank. Here, there's nothing. I'm drifting around again. So this is just terrible. I don't want to commit suicide, sir. And I thought if I could stay with Frank or at Why the hospital. Why would you commit suicide? Because I'm getting so desperate. I'm exhausted. I've had a stroke. I'm tired. And I was trying. And the police know. And I've been pushed to this point for a year or two. So I was trying to stop and rest and either stay with the ladies there or stay with, you know, Frank for a night, you know? Tell you so. I, thank you for driving me over, but the women had so many rules they couldn't even keep me. How does any other woman get to be in my shape? Eventually she gets driven over and jumps off a bridge. It's a wonder, like you said, Jesus has kept me alive early this year and having some strength. Now I've had a heart attack, a stroke. I'm 58. I did much better, stronger wise, what I'm trying to explain. When I was your age, sir, I did. I thank you for driving me there and caring at all. You know? I, when I was your age, when I was 48, I, you know, I did not uh, have all this problem with lack of strength, with heart attack and stroke and everything else. But that's why, you know, those women, they've got all these rules. I thought I could stay with them for a night. I guess I've got my picture on it, you know? Mm -hmm. Why is that on there? <laughs> because when you're riding around with somebody and you don't know them, you have to make sure that you cover yourself. Now... You, uh, what you gonna do? I don't know. I told you I had only two options. The women were gonna help us. They were nice, but they have all these rules. You heard them. And then the police won't help me. I got a murder trial coming up in which I gotta catch a felon who's a murderer, okay? So he what tried now? To murder me. Who did? I met somebody years ago who tried to murder me. That's why it's a wonder I'm not dead yet. Sam knows it. Everybody knows it. That's why they're scared to help me. Because they know that I've almost got a murderer. You don't know it, Mr. Collins. Some man I met years ago tried to kill me. That's why it's a wonder I'm alive these few months. You're alive because you've it's been blessed. Crime. I'm not. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, I met someone who was a criminal or a crook 20 years ago. I'm older than you are when my son was three years old. And I tell, I'm not angry at you. I thank you for caring about me at all. You're a stranger. And for carrying me over to those women and for telling them it was an emergency because you were right. And you're being logical. Thank you. My brother, if my older brother was here, he would help me too. But he's not. He's 64. And he's older than I am. And he's in Chicago. So you understand. Thank you. Because you treated me in a way that's brotherly. But my brother can't help me here. He would be terrified if I was in this situation, but he's in Chicago, okay? So thank you, but that's why I tried to explain to you, Mr. Collins, that you neither you nor I knew that those, look, I'm, I'm just in another week, I, I'm telling you, I just almost, I'm not now, but I almost thought jumping off a bridge because no law has helped me for 20 years to solve this problem anyway. 
What problem is that? The two criminals I met uh, 20 years ago, no law except for the chief of police and a detective helped me with this situation in Durham I'm talking about. Not one law person, and I'm tired of dealing with it. I've had a heart attack, and I am not a criminal. I'm not a state, but I am not a crook, and I don't try to kill children, and I am not a criminal. Now, the lawyers in Washington, D.C. are greedy for money, and they think that I am a criminal, or they're, they're scared of me. And that's God's truth, and that's why those women were a little bit afraid you saw them, because they know, partly, sir, how long this is going on, Mr. Powers, those three women, you know? But didn't you hear them say that they were sorry? What did they say? You heard them. They said they are not staff members, they're sorry, they're only residents, and they could have helped me, you drove me over there, if they could. And listen, you can call the police department and they won't they, do shit. They, I told you I went to them ten times to do a police report, and all they do is wait. I'm telling you, Mr. Collins, I'm older than you are. They're not mean people, okay? There's some very nice ones. But I told you, sir, earlier, thank you for helping me. I was tired. I've had a heart attack. And we went to these women begging for help. They should have kept me for a night, okay? But I'm also telling you how I have gone to the police eight or nine times, and what they do is they wait until someone is dead, I'm telling you, before they help you, or shot like that poor woman at the International House of Pancakes last Saturday. She was sitting around, I'm not trying to, you know, and she was shot to death, and no police could do a thing about it. And I am in the same type of situation in some ways. And that is why I, you asked me, you know, you thought, me, here I've had a heart attack, I'm getting more tired, and you thank you for helping me, but, you know, and those women should help me, but I asked you to please go out me up with my friend, who at least would let me stay with him. Well, you, I took you over there, and you didn't know I where he you lived. You wouldn't let me out, the young people. I did it. let you, I asked you if you wanted to get out, you said no. And if no, you. No, I didn't, you didn't ask me that, I asked the young people where he was. Well, let me tell you something. What should I do? Just go off, jump off a bridge right now? That's ridiculous. I'm innocent. Hey, let me let me tell you something. You won't be nowhere close to innocent if you jump off a bridge and take your own life. I told you I needed help. I have nothing else to do. You know, we're going to the hospital. Everybody's tried to kill me, and
yourself up, buddy. I say, I say, is that that's you? You heard me. So what? I say, was that you? What you doing out here this time of night, baby? I ain't doing nothing. I'm finna go home. I just gave that lady ride to the rescue mission. And they wouldn't take her. They wouldn't take her. And uh, then she said something about going over to somebody named Frank House off of Bacon Street. Uh -huh. I took her over there, and we went all the way up to the end of the street and back on that those high things on yeah. Bacon Street. She didn't. She couldn't tell which one Frank lived in. I asked her, did she want to get out and walk and look? She said no. So I said, fuck this. I'm finna take her ass back to up here and let, put her <laughs> ass out. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy boy. Shit. <laughs> Damn. You better take your ass home. I need some change, boo. No. I ain't got I've been good. I ain't gonna act ugly. Please. I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back, boo. Hey, let me ask you something. My baby. What is you doing out here? I just walked out because uh, I told you I'm scared to stay in the house by myself. I just wait till I what get sleeping. What's the office at? In jail. He ain't get out. They ain't, they ain't ship him off yet. You should be at home resting. I know. I know. They ain't even ship him off yet. Damn sure didn't. He's still waiting on Chapel Hill to come get him. Damn. Why don't you go out there and take him up there? I'm going to do that. I <laughs> wish I could break him out. You heard me. Uh -huh. I wish I could break his ass out. But I can't break his ass out. They let me out my ass go. Here you go. Y'all, they let my damn ass go. My girl didn't want to go no damn. All she had to go, all she got to do is go to the shelter. She said they won't let her in. Oh, she is. They, yeah, she didn't. Now, you sure you took her to the rescue mission on Roswell Street? I you took her out there. I took her down. To the, to the Ernie Mills. You took her there. To that old motel. Yeah. Hotel. And what they say? <laughs> they wouldn't let her ass in. Oh, damn. Dang, I should let her stay tonight at my house. How she look? I'll give her roof over her head tonight. Where, where she at? Come she on. Just wanna, she, Come on. Let's go get no, her. No, no. Huh? No, you you gonna give her a roof? Yeah, it's in the morning. I'm scared to stand that motherfucker by myself. God gonna bless me. I don't wanna see out. I don't wanna see outside. Come on, let's go see. Can we find her? Come on. All right. But I'm telling you right now, uh, I'm right. not. I'm not finna. Y'all can walk to your house. I'm not gonna. Oh, she, no. <laughs> Fuck that. I, I, I done got her ass out of At least I would have called. If I would have called her just now, go. I would have took her to my house. Because I, I took uh, Sam and his damn fucking old lady. You remember we were sitting across the street drinking yesterday? Uh-huh. That bitch turned my... I said, you got to go, bitch. She did what? She turned it out. I said, you got to go. You got to get out of my what house. What did she do? Cut up? Yeah. She, uh, and she... then we came back and sat down right here. Damn if the police didn't come. They put handcuffs on Sam and shit. And then I see her in the store just now. Go, she wanted to jump on me, did she? Damn, All right, Debbie, me. I'm finna go up here and tell this lady what you said. Okay, tell her I'm gonna be right here. I'm going to get me a barrel. Tell my I'm at the bus stop. Go All ahead, right. bro.